Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. These are the ingredients. I was going to do this, this classic chicken gravy. What I did before, I like actually like the turkey gravy. Um, but I'm not going to use that. What I'm going to use is this Korean barbecue. I use it on all my meats, even though it says beef. Got my pink Himalayan salt, pepper, corn. I'm going to put that on a pan and like kind of scale it. I got a cup of rice and I got my ground turkey. Don't mind my nails, we're still quarantined. <laughs> um, right here I have a pot of two cups of water with a tablespoon of butter, about to boil. I am heating my pan. This is actually a non-stick skillet pan. And if you don't have it, I would suggest you put some non-stick cooking spray or some butter, but I don't have to, so directly goes the meat. Let that cook. And then you're gonna add your, um, what you call it? You're gonna add this when it's um, a little bit of cooked. I'll put the corn in closer to when everything is ready because the corn doesn't take that long. The meat's going to take like, I would say, about 15-20 minutes. The rice alone is going to take 15 minutes once it, once I put the rice in there. So, just got to time everything so everything can be ready at the same time. And no, I'm not going to show my face because we're still quarantine mode, like I keep on saying. And my hair is not done, nor do I have cooking of a clothes on. I just spread the meat out a little more in the pan so it could cook um, more and not like, oh, it's all piled up on top of each other. You can season the meat, but I'm not going to season it because the sauce that I have alone I'm sure it's pretty good because when I put it on the salmon, it was good, but that did marinate overnight. So I might just put a little bit of salt and pepper plus the sauce. We'll see. Move my bracelets. Yeah, I think I'm going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on here. You want to break this up nice and good. But when the sauce comes in here, then they'll like make the meat softer and easier to break. Before you put the meat, the um, the sauce in, you want to make sure that the pink is gone from the meat. And a lot of people say that because you want to make sure that it's fully cooked. You don't want to have pink in here and then put your sauce or whatever it is and then you only boil it, you know, cook it more for like two, three minutes and then you still got raw meat. So you want to make sure that whenever you read instructions, they always say let your meat brown and then move forward. So you want to make sure that your meat browns before you add anything to it that you can't see the color of the meat. Or like, you know, if you want to add vegetables or whatever else to it. I don't know if y'all know that, but that's like a little tip. With the corn, we're gonna um, put the corn in here with like a tablespoon of water because it is frozen corn. 
and we want to like kind of boil it but not boil it because we're not in a, a big pot but we want to get it soft and then we're going to add butter and toss it and skillet make it nice and brown whatever okay wait there's a still a little bit of pink spots left we're gonna add our korean barbecue sauce i always say well if you don't know i always say cooking is for fun well wait is it that Bacon is a science, cooking is fun. Is that my slogan? I forgot, but you know what I mean. Cooking, you don't have to measure. Bacon, you have to measure. If you don't measure, your, mess, your stuff is gonna be messed up. So cooking is just, you know, eyeballing. You want to put this on a simmer because the rice still didn't go in. Actually, you know what? We're going to cover this. So it can simmer nice and good. If I have a top, well, I have a top just, no, that's not the top. <laughs> dishwasher oh no that's too okay that's too big but it's gonna have to do what it does so now let's move you over to the water i have butter in there you want to salt the water put a cup of rice um so i have two cups of water a cup of rice i don't know why people don't know how to make rice um, I'm actually going to add this little bit of rice to it to finish out the pack. Mix that good. Once it comes to a boil, you cover it, lower the heat, let it simmer for 15 minutes. Okay, so with the rice, you see how, I don't know if you can see, it started bubbling up, just lower the water. Don't lift it. If it overflows, then of course lift it. But if you ain't got to um, lift it up, don't lift it. With the meat, let's see. I could bring this up a little bit more. Um, with the meat, it's thin. Like the sauce is thin. Probably going to have to add some cornstarch a little bit just to make it thicker because cornstarch and water is like a thickening agent and I want it to be not drippy. See how it's dripping? Look. I want it to be a little thicker so it could like hold on to my rice and stuff. So we're gonna let that cook out and then later we're gonna add some cornstarch to it. But we're gonna switch And we're gonna put the corn here. Um, what am I doing, what am I doing? Okay, so let's get a thing. Actually, you know what, let's measure out the corn first. Um, I totally forgot my slogan. I've used, I've always used it, but I haven't said it in a while, so that's why I forgot. But it goes something like, you know, cooking is more of a sign, I mean, Bacon is a science, cooking is, anybody could cook, bacon is a science. I think that's what it is. <clears throat> I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll probably write it below if I figure it out. So like I, I'm doing, I'm eyeballing everything. And I'm just gonna take a cup of corn. I think that's enough. Um, let's do a cup and a half. Cup and a half of corn, and now we want some water. I say one fourth of water because you could always add some later. 
and let's cook it and see what that turns into. This is my first time doing this kind of meat. This will go down lower. This is my first time doing this kind of meat and this way cooking corn. So we'll see. Um, oh look, that was frozen. <laughs> yeah, learning experience. <sighs> Maybe add a little bit more water. Because the water could cook out. Okay. Maybe that's too much water. I have it on almost like high heat. I have the rice on simmer and I have the meat on low. Because the meat is done. You just want to like incorporate the sauce. So while the rice is cooking, which is the longest, we're gonna cook that. Okay, here we go. So you, right now with the corn, with the water, you're basically defrosting the corn, if that's the right terminology. Um, boiling the corn, yeah, we're gonna leave it at that. <laughs> if you like these cooking videos, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Tell me what um, recipes y'all wanna see or like, Give me an ingredient that you want me to cook with and I'll go from there. Because everybody, you know, everybody asks like, oh, what kind of recipe you want to see? People give like the basic and stuff. I want to be different. Give me an item that you want me to cook with like, or two items. Like I want you to cook with chicken and garlic or, you know, rice and garlic or rice and broccoli or, um rice and salt fish you know just something like that don't just give me like a recipe like oh i want you to make macaroni and cheese or you know might have to drain this let's salt the corn while it's in the water might as well pepper it Now I'm thinking about it, I could have added less water because the cat, I keep on my say carrots, but corn is frozen and the corn is has water. It's a learning experience. The rice will be done in about five minutes. Let's check on this meat. Yeah. You're gonna have to thicken this. I wanna see what it tastes like though. Oh, um, bake it up too. If you have big chunky pieces, break it up a little more. Let's try it. Okay. Yo, that's good. Coming one, come on, camera. Just say how good it is. Mm -hmm. This rice is, I mean, this corn is bubbling up, which is good because I was about to drain it. But if you don't cover something, the water will evaporate. Now, the idea with cornstarch, you want cold water and cornstarch. You don't want to put cornstarch directly into your dish because then it'll have the clumpiness. You want to mix cold water, cornstarch to liquid and then slowly pour it. Cause if you pour it all, it might be too thick. If you do slowly, then you can kinda go with it and see how thick you want it. So this is what I'm taking with the water and cornstarch. Mix it. It's not supposed to be a paste, it's supposed to be, you know, liquid. Oops. Y'all didn't see that. So a little more. And I could dip the spoon back in here because all it is is water. The only harm that's doing is now it's sticking more to the spoon. Wait, let's check on this corn. Okay, yes, the water. Okay. Good. We're gonna take a tablespoon of butter. 
add it to the corn. Let that cook. We're gonna move the corn back to where it was. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna switch. Switch your room. Put this back on here. Put that on low, put that. Okay, so now here we are with the meat. The meat is still thin. We're gonna pour a little bit. Let that come to a bubble. Yeah, look, it's already looking thick. It depends on how thick you want your sauce. I don't want it to be too thick. I just want it to s stick to something, you know what I mean? The rice should be ready in about a minute and I just lost corn. <laughs> I'm not gonna get that because I don't want to burn myself. I'm gonna put the rice down and put the meat down and put the corn down. Okay, let's see. Let's add a little more. Let's just do it all. Okay. Yes! Rice is done. Turn the rice off. Corn. Oh, yo, that smells good! I just like, what is that sweet smell? Like, corn, when you cook it, it turns to sweet corn. That's bubbling. Let's see if it's the consistency we want. Let's see. Yeah, now it's not like. Yes, this is thick. You see how thick it came? Like, not too thick, but like thick where it's sticking to the meat. And it's like a sauce and not like a, a water. <laughs> okay, let's turn the corn off. Everything is off. You can still break up your meat. Look, it's thick. the sauce is sticking to the spoon. That's good. This is the rice. Yes. Let me show you the rice. You can fluff it up. Look at that. Stir the rice. Yes. Look at that. Got the rice, the meat, the corn. Stay tuned. We're about to plate. We got the rice. And if you want to be fancy with the rice, you could have put the rice in like a, a cup, let it sit, flip it over, put it on a plate, lift it up, it would have been like the molded. That's it. We got the meat. Ooh, yes. Look at that. Beautiful skillet corn. Look at that. I'm proud of the corn. Like, it's good. It looks good and it's good. Put it on top. This is a meal my mother always used to make back in the day, but she would use that gravy that I showed y'all, and it was like the best dinner ever. Look at that. Ooh, yes.
let's try it out now with my fork. I know it's gonna taste good because I made it. Let's see. So we want some rice in there, some meat, and some corn. Oops. If it will focus. Come on. Stop dropping. Okay. Let's see. Mmm. Oh, yes. So good. Yes, I'm dancing. So you can see my face. Um, see my mouth. So you can't see my face. <laughs> but this is another recipe coming from me. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you're gonna try it, give it a thumbs up. If you did try it, leave a comment in the comment box saying how it was. If you have problems, if you switch anything, anything, leave it in the comments. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification for my next upcoming recipes and just videos in general. See you on the next one. Stay safe.